It is almost a year since humanity has been tormented by COVID. Across the world, economic output has plummeted uh, and a million and a half people have died. All the time, we've been waiting and hoping for the day when the searchlights of science would pick out our invisible enemy and give us the power to stop that enemy from making us ill. And now the scientists have done it. This is big. The UK Prime Minister speaking just hours after his country became the first in the world to approve a coronavirus vaccine from Pfizer and BioNTech. Now, the first round of vaccinations there, just days away. The British Medicine Authority granting emergency use approval Wednesday to the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine, which was found to be safe and 95% effective in trials. The public can be absolutely confident that every rigorous check has been done. No stone has been left unturned. Some 800,000 doses are expected in the UK by next week, which will mark the start of a historic mass inoculation program with priority given to those most at risk, including the elderly and healthcare workers. 2020 has been just awful and 2021 is going to be better uh, and help is on its way. The British Health Secretary says the timing of the rollout depends on just how fast the shots can be manufactured and delivered, all while keeping the vaccine at the extremely cold temperature of minus 70 degrees. I strongly urge uh, people to, to take up the vaccine, but it is no part of our uh, culture or our ambition in this country uh, to make uh, vaccines mandatory. Britain has ordered 40 million doses, enough for just under a third of its population, as two shots, about three weeks apart, are needed per person. Boris Johnson emphasizing the importance of still sticking with key health measures to stem the spread of the virus. It's all the more vital that as we celebrate this scientific achievement, we're not carried away uh, with over-optimism or fall into the uh, naive belief that the struggle is over. It's not. So who's next? Other countries are not far behind. Decisions are expected this month here in Canada, in the U.S., and by Europe's regulator. And of course, other vaccines are in the works and showing promise. Melissa Duggan, City News.